The future is already here, and it is closer than we ever imagined. Have you ever stopped to think about how the technology we have today can become both our liberator and our greatest oppressor? Elon Musk, the genius behind Tesla, Neuralink, and SpaceX, is the embodiment of the future that once only existed in science fiction stories. But what no one tells you is that, while we admire the wonders of its technological advances, we are also getting dangerously close to a scenario where freedom could become a mere illusion. Imagine a world where humans merge with machines, where our brains are networked, where robots walk among us as agents of social control. Sound interesting? Or maybe scary? The glorious future that Elon Musk promises may be opening doors to something much bigger and who knows, dark. Some of these doors are leading us straight to the fulfillment of biblical prophecies about the Antichrist and the end times. The promises of an enlightened future may well be the prelude to a technologically advanced army, controlled not by human reason, but by an invisible entity that controls everything through technology. Musk has always been vocal about the risks of out-of-control artificial intelligence, but ironically, he is also at the forefront of its creation. Could it be that, as we rush to accept the future presented to us, we are forgetting the warnings that the sacred scriptures have given us? Are we, without realizing it, preparing ourselves to be part of that army of the Antichrist that so many prophecies speak of? The answer may be closer than we like to admit, which is why you need to understand the ramifications of what lies ahead. This is an invitation to open your eyes, to question before surrendering. It's not just about technology or innovation. It's about what it means to be human and the fight to preserve our essence in the face of a digital revolution that waits for no one. Let's understand together how the future, brought to us by Elon Musk, is changing the world and what it could mean for our freedom and our faith. Elon Musk, a name that echoes innovation and controversy, is at the forefront of the development of humanoid robots and artificial intelligence, mainly through his companies Tesla and OpenAI. Relacionadas à a marca da besta e ao seu número 666. Like humans, Muitos acreditam que o inimigo implantará so um chip com esse número After nas all, pessoas para que elas sejam identificadas e possam, entre outras coisas, comprar, vender e, o mais importante, não serem perseguidas pelo media. governo Musk que dominará o mundo nos últimos dias. Mas, afinal de contas, o que há de verdade nessa história de chip, marca e do número da besta? These advances in AI and robotics are not just transforming everyday life. They also bring profound reflections on the future of humanity. Imagine a world where these robots, created to make our lives easier, can be used for other, perhaps less noble purposes. The vision of an army of AI-controlled machines is not purely science fiction, but rather a scenario that some experts fear is plausible. Elon Musk has even expressed concerns about the possibility of AI becoming an existential threat, if not properly controlled. Will this technological evolution, so advanced, align with the prophecies about the end of times? It sounds fascinating and scary at the same time, doesn't it? The duality of technology is a double-edged sword. It can be a foundation for our evolution, or a threat if misused. Imagine if these robots gained autonomy and, instead of helping, started to control fundamental aspects of our lives. What prevents these advances from being used for other purposes, such as forming an army of the Antichrist, a metaphor increasingly present in discussions involving the impact of technology on the end times? Prophecies increasingly appear to be a futuristic reality. The line between control and freedom becomes blurrier with each technological advance. What Musk is creating now could very well be the beginning of a system of global control that many associate with the Antichrist. Technology, which apparently emerged to serve us, is beginning to show signs that it can be used against us. And therein lies the real dilemma. Are we in control or merely witnessing the creation of our own watchmen? This leads us to reflect on the role of robots like Optimus and how the fine line between beneficial control and total submission can be crossed. Imagine a future in which advances in robotics and artificial intelligence, instead of freeing us, end up becoming instruments of absolute control. This is the type of scenario that many imagine when we talk about an army of robots led by a central intelligence. In an apocalyptic vision, we are not just talking about a monitored society, but a true technological tyranny where every act is monitored and every deviation is punished. Elon Musk, with his innovations, 
presents us with the possibility of robots like Optimus playing roles not only in work, but also in policing. What if these robots were in charge of ensuring membership in a global system, a system that many believe to be the precursor to the Antichrist? It sounds like fiction, but there are real precedents for how technologies, initially developed for good, end up being used for control. Surveillance cameras, for example, are common in our cities, but they were once used as a tool of oppression in totalitarian regimes. What prevents these AI-powered robots from being used for similar purposes? They could monitor our activities, our behaviors, and even our thoughts, figuratively controlling our actions. The army of the Antichrist, described in the prophecies, does not need to be composed of humans. Concluindo, nós não well sabemos ao certo qual será a marca da besta. Não temos certeza se ela será um chip, future, um mini robô instalado no cérebro das pessoas ou qualquer outra coisa que a tecnologia possa criar. E nem precisamos saber, porque quem precisará se preocupar com isso serão os deixados para trás após o arrebatamento. É no período da grande tribulação que o anticristo irá se manifestar e implementar a marca da besta nas pessoas. A verdade é que logo, logo, ela deve surgir e começar a fazer parte da vida do ser humano. Por isso, meu querido irmão e minha irmã, tenha certeza que a única forma de fugir dessa armadilha que vai levar muitas almas ao inferno é aceitar Jesus como seu Senhor e Salvador e viver de acordo com seus ensinamentos. Here, we are faced with a dilemma. Accept technological evolution without question, or stop and reflect on the risks it brings to our freedom and our future. The apocalyptic vision of a world controlled by robots is not just a horror tale. It is a real possibility that, if aligned with the prophecies, could indicate the beginning of times of oppression and absolute control. The intersection between technology and biblical prophecies is something that is gaining more and more space in modern discussions. Think about the concept of the mark of the beast mentioned in the book of Revelation. Many interpret this as a warning about absolute control, which could come through a mandatory mark for participation in any societal activity. With advances in AI and robotics, this idea seems to take on a new look. Imagine a system where you need to be identified not just by a document, but by a combination of biometric data and AI recognition, a mark that validates your existence and allows you to function within a global system. It is a scenario that, for many, appears to be the literal execution of what was prophesied. Elon Musk, for example, with his Neuralink technologies and advances in AI, is at the center of a debate about how the next stage of human evolution will be profoundly influenced by technology. The fusion between man and machine is no longer a distant hypothesis. Think about how these technologies can be used to make life easier, but at the same time, how they can be instruments of control, of making humanity dependent on a greater force, an intelligence that governs every aspect of our lives. At this intersection, technology can not only complement our capabilities, but also dictate what we can and cannot do. Imagine a future where you can only access essential services if you are properly connected to a central system. The mark of the beast could be interpreted as this obligatory relationship, where in order to fully exist in society, you need to submit to something greater, an invisible, and perhaps inhuman a marca da besta e ao seu número 666. Muitos acreditam que o inimigo implantará um chip com esse número nas pessoas para que elas sejam identificadas e possam, entre outras coisas, comprar, vender e, o mais importante, não serem perseguidas pelo governo que dominará o mundo nos últimos dias. Mas, afinal de contas, o que há de verdade nessa história de chip, marca e do número da besta é isso que nós vemos. And submitting our freedom to what could be the greatest controller the world has ever seen. Tesla's Optimus humanoid robot is not just an engineering marvel, but a reflection of how our relationship with technology is transforming. Think about it. When we talk about robots that could perform jobs like security or factory operations, it's as if we're watching the birth of something between human and machine. On the one hand, we have the promise of a more efficient future. On the other, ethical questions are raised about the extent to which AI control is safe. 
And of course, we can't help but remember the unsettling discussions about the army of the Antichrist, in which many believe that humanity may be paving its own path to technological servitude. It's a scary thought. Imagine a robot that not only executes commands, but has a certain degree of autonomy to decide how to deal with situations in the real world. That's a plausible view of Optimus. What if one day such robots are tasked with maintaining public order? Important questions then arise. Would they have the necessary moral discernment to make complex decisions? What happens when you remove human empathy from the equation and replace it with an AI programmed to be efficient but not necessarily fair? Elon Musk has already signaled that controlling this technology will be crucial, as it can either save or condemn society. What if you were in a complicated situation, face-to-face -face with a robot that interprets rules in a cold and mechanical way? Where would be the space for human judgment, for understanding the nuances that make us who we are? This scenario, when aligned with the prophecies about the army of the Antichrist, paints a picture where we can be subjugated by soulless creatures completely dedicated to executing a greater agenda. Therein lies the fear of many. Wouldn't this be the fulfillment of an ancestral warning about the end of times? Think about all the times you've had to appeal to someone else's common sense to solve a problem. Imagine now if this common sense was in the hands of a robot like Optimus, programmed to obey rules that perhaps do not understand true human nature. Here we have a clear example of the conflict between the efficiency promised by technology and what is truly essential to maintain our humanity. This is the gray area in which prophecies about the end of times find themselves, hinting at a future in which morality is sacrificed in the name of absolute control, possibly at the hands of this technological army. Now that you've seen the future up close, it's up to you to decide how you will react. Are you ready to surrender to the promises of technological advancement that you don't question, or will you seek to remain alert? preserving what is essentially human. Technology can be our ally or our greatest enemy. The difference is in how we use it and who we allow to control it. And you, are you willing to open your eyes and challenge the path that seems to be being laid out for Concluindo, us? Perhaps nós não sabemos ao certo qual será a marca da besta. Não temos certeza se ela será um chip, um mini robô instalado no cérebro das pessoas ou qualquer outra coisa que a tecnologia possa criar. E nem precisamos saber, porque quem precisará se preocupar com isso serão os deixados para trás após o arrebatamento. É no período da grande tribulação que o anticristo irá se manifestar e implementar a marca da besta nas pessoas. A verdade é que logo logo ela deve surgir e começar a fazer parte da vida do ser humano. Por isso, meu querido irmão e minha irmã, tenha certeza que a única forma de fugir dessa armadilha, que vai levar muitas almas ao inferno, é aceitar Jesus como seu Senhor e Salvador e viver de acordo com seus ensinamentos. To keep our ability to choose and our humanity alive, we need to be proactive and engaged. And if you want to continue exploring this subject, understand the developments of this technological revolution and how it can impact your life, be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. Let's seek knowledge together and strengthen ourselves to face this future, which has already arrived and is here, challenging our freedom and our faith every day. Are you ready for the next step?